This is Eric Johnson with Techno RV, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the TST 507 Tire Pressure Monitoring System. This system comes with one of two different kinds of sensors. One is a flow-through sensor that allows you to air up your tires without taking the sensor off of the stem, and the other one is a cap sensor. So today we'll install one of each. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the monitor for your TST 507 system. On the right hand side is the on and off switch. Let's go ahead and push that up and get this into the on position. It has us in drive mode right now. And you can see the tires that I already have programmed into the system. And I'm going to install two more sensors on these tires. There's two different kinds of sensors that you can get with the 507. One's the flow-through sensor, which allows you to air up your tires without removing the cap. And then the other one is the cap sensor. In order to program a sensor into the system, we have to get into the program mode. In order to do that, you're going to want to press and hold the code button. Take about four or five seconds until you hear a beep. Hold it down. When you hear the beep, you're in program mode. All 22 tires will show up. That's an indication that you're in program mode. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to move to the tire that we want to program. And you do that by pressing either the plus or minus buttons on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the tire that I want to get to the tire I want to program. This is the first position that I want to program right here. It'll show all F's if a sensor has not been programmed into the system yet. And what you'll notice is whenever I program the sensor, the F's will change to a code. So let me go ahead and program the cap sensor into the system. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to hold the sensor just close to the bottom of your system and then you'll just want to tap the code button and just like that it's programmed you can see it does not have the F's on the screen anymore it's actually got a program number in there that sensor is ready to go in that position now let's go ahead and program the next position and I move tire positions by pressing the plus or minus This is the next position that I'm going to program. You can see it's got all F's. And this time, I'm going to program a flow-through sensor. Same thing, just make sure the sensor is right at the base of the monitor. You're going to just tap the code button, and you'll see all the F's change to the code of this sensor. that sensor is now programmed. To get out of program mode, you're just going to tap the mode button. So I'll do that now. And as you can see, these two tires are now showing up as programmed. This is the cap sensor that we're going to install first. The cap sensor has an anti-theft device on it, so you actually place it on the stem with this tool here. So you place the tool around the cap like this, and then you just screw it onto the stem. You'll hear a puff of air. And you want to put it on there snug, but not too tight. And then you can see if somebody tries to take that off, that'll just spin right there. So once that's on there, since it's already programmed into your monitor, it'll automatically start reading the PSI and the temperature. PSI and the temperature on this, uh, this sensor here. 
So let's move to the next tire and I'll show you how to install one of the flow through sensors. So now we're going to install the flow through sensor. It's a little bit different than the cap. The anti-theft device is uh, basically a, a little Allen screw, so it comes with this Allen wrench. And uh, it's pretty simple. Basically you, you screw the, the sensor onto the tire like this. Then you would take your Allen wrench and you would just cinch the screw down onto the stem and that makes that anti-theft. Nobody's going to be able to take that off now. And then again, now that the sensor is installed, in fact it's already reading uh, at, at 73 psi and 66 degrees Fahrenheit on here. And uh, so both of these sensors are installed. And that's how you install the uh, tire pressure monitoring system, the 507 model from TST. Now what we need to do is go in and set the highs and lows on the PSI. And this will be the, the PSI in which you want to be notified. Uh, if the, the tire pressure drops below a certain amount or goes above a certain amount. And in order to do this, you're going to press and hold the mode button for four or five seconds until you hear a beep. When you do that, all of the tires will show up and it'll show PSI right here. If you hit the mode button again, it's going to show Fahrenheit, which means you want, to, you want your readings to be in Fahrenheit. If you want Celsius, you can hit the plus button here. It goes to Celsius. Hit the plus button again. I prefer Fahrenheit. And then if you press the mode button one more time, it's going to go to your front axle. And then this is where you're going to make adjustments. Now, the first PSI that shows up here, this is going to be what you want your high side to be. It's recommended that you set your high side about 20% above what the manufacturer's recommendation is for your cold tire pressure. If I want to move that up or down, then I just press either the plus or minus button. And 75 is where I want it to be, so I'm okay. And then if I hit the mode button again, it's going to take me to the low side. And right now it's set at 55 is where it will notify me if my pressure drops to 55 on that front axle. And if I want to move that up or down again, I can move it down. I can move it back up. And then to move to the next axle, you just hit mode. And you just continue to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the rest of these because the next step is where you would set the temperature at which you want to be notified. Now the system comes set at 158 degrees. If the temperature around that sensor gets to 158 degrees, it's going to give you a warning. I recommend, and so does the manufacturer, that you just leave it at 158 degrees. However, if you want to move that number up, then again, you just press the, the plus button. If you want to move it down, you press the minus button. And then that's all there is to it. You've set your PSI for your axles. The temperature set at 158. And then to get back into basically drive mode, you're just going to tap the set button. And then this takes you into drive mode. And these are all the tires that are now programmed. And then it'll just scroll through each tire and show you what the, the pressure is and what the, uh, the Fahrenheit is on that tire. So there you have it, that's the TST-507 tire pressure monitoring system installation process.